Hello, welcome to Books with Lexi. Today I'm going to share some horror genre blends with you. You could call these genre blends, you could call them hybrid genres, whatever you like, but I have some recommendations for you for horror books. If you are looking to add some fantasy, sci-fi, or romance to your reads, or if you are fantasy, sci-fi, or romance readers who want to get a little more into horror. If you have any recommendations for any sort of horror genre blend, please leave your recommendations in the comments. I'm always looking for more. Some of my favorite horror books are actually genre blends, so I'm always looking for more to read. I am going to start with romance because I honestly have the least amount of recommendations for you. So the first one is Voices in the Snow by Darcy Coates. This is a quartet. Is that the term? There are four books in this series. I have only read the first one, but I've heard incredible things about the rest of the series as well. We are following a woman who is in an accident. She wakes up in a stranger's home with no knowledge of the past couple days, and they are figuring out how to survive together. The next three are all gothic horror books, and a big part of gothic horror is actually a romance. So if you find books that are true gothic horror, not just marketed as gothic, to get more people to buy it, they will likely have a romance in them. I feel like all of these are fairly standard for gothic horror. They feature old creepy houses and weird family secrets and a romance. So the three I have to recommend to you are The Hacienda by Isabel Cañas, Mexican Gothic by Silvia Moreno Garcia, and The Death of Jane Lawrence by Caitlin Starling. If you are interested in their levels of weird, I feel like this one is the most normal of the three. It does have some odd elements in it, but it feels very typical of horror. This one goes weird um, in a way that I liked and a lot of people do like, but it is very odd. And this one is really weird. I'm actually going to use this one to move into my next category, which is horror fantasy, because this 100% fits that as well. This is definitely horror. It features a romance, but there's a lot of fantasy elements in here. It is very dark, but I will say this is very unexplained fantasy, so don't go into it hoping for, like, a logic-based magic system. I will say that I really like this one, but I still don't understand the ending, so just be a little wary of this one, but I still really liked it. Next in fantasy, I have Ninth House by Lee Bardugo. This deals with supernatural horror. It does have a lot of fantasy elements in here. I feel like this one is one that if you like fantasy, you definitely are already aware of this one. This also heavily features a mystery in it, and it is set at Yale and deals with secret societies. Near the Bone by Christina Henry. This one is very fantasy light. A woman is trapped on a mountain trying to escape multiple kinds of monsters. The Hollow Places by T. Kingfisher. I also feel like the Twisted Ones could count. This is kind of portal fantasy horror. We are following a woman who is going to clean up her uncle's like weird museum type thing and finds a hole in the wall that contains portals to alternate realities. Then we have Empire of Wild by Sherry Dimeline. This is following a woman whose husband goes missing and a year later she finds him, but he doesn't recognize her at all and is claiming that he has a different name. And this deals with a Rogaru, which is a werewolf-like creature. Next is The Year of the Witching by Alexis Henderson. This deals with witches. We are following a woman kind of coming into her witchy type powers. This deals a lot with like family secrets and the church's dark past. Next is Malice House by Megan Shepard. This is a thriller horror fantasy genre blend, so it's all three. And this is following a woman who her father just passed away and she's going to clear out his house, decide what to do with it, and she finds an old manuscript of his. But strange things are happening in the town since she showed up and there might be otherworldly creatures involved. And then I have two more that I don't own, The Book Eaters by Sonny Dean. This is horror fantasy. I feel like it leans more towards fantasy, um, but we are following a woman trying to find a cure for her son who is a mind eater. And then The Ballad of Black Tom by Victor Lavelle. This one is short, so I don't want to tell you much, but we are following a man who deals with these books for rich people. Okay, those are all of my fantasy recs, so now into the sci-fi ones. I have three that I don't own, so I'm going to start with those. The first one is The Murders of Molly Southbourne by Today Thompson. This is following a woman who every time she bleeds, a clone pops up and tries to kill her. Then I have The Luminous Dead by Caitlin Starling. This is following a woman 
who is doing this like cave diving exploration thing. It happens to be on another planet. We are following her journey in this cave. And then the third one is Your Mind is a Terrible Thing by Hayley Piper. This one is a little smart for me, but this is set on a spaceship and they are dealing with an attack. I have four more to talk about. The first one is Lakewood by Megan Giddings. This is following a woman who drops out of college to participate in a secret research facility. Black Tide by Casey Jones. This is following two strangers who end up on a beach together during the end of the world. Into the Drowning Deep by Mira Grant. This is following a scientific crew on a boat as well as a film crew on a boat and they are investigating the past disappearance of a ship and there turns out to be something horrible in the waters. And the last one is Dead Silence by S.A. Barnes. This is following a salvage cruise ship. They hear a beacon distress signal for a ship that happened to go missing in the past, so they go to investigate, and they have to know what happened before they meet the same fate. So those are all of my recommendations for horror books that have either romance, sci-fi, or fantasy elements. Once again, let me know if you have any recommendations for books that blend another genre with horror. They could be ones that are primarily horror and add in one of these other genres, or primarily are another genre that have horror elements in them. If you are looking to find me in other places on the internet, all links are in the description, including my bookstagram, my storygraph, and my Patreon. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me, and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye!